biopolymer technology is in its third phase of clinical testing. Unlike blood vessels in healthy tissue, those in tumor tissue have openings that make them porous to large molecules. Due to the larger size of Ziotax compared to standard paclitaxel, the Ziotax leaks through the pores in tumor blood vessels and is preferentially trapped and distributed to the tumor tissue. Once inside the tumor tissue, the Ziotax molecule is taken up by the tumor cells through a cellular process called endocytosis. After Ziotax has entered the cell, the endosomes fuse with lysosomes, exposing Ziotax to lysosomal enzymes. Because the biopolymer Ziotax is made up of biodigestible amino acids, it is slowly metabolized by lysosomal enzymes, principally cathepsin B, inside the lysosome of the tumor cell. This metabolism releases the active chemotherapy agent paclitaxel. Once the paclitaxel has been released from Ziotax, it is freely diffusible and enters the cell nucleus and binds to tubulin. Paclitaxel-induced tubulin stabilization triggers cellular apoptosis, causing disintegration of the tumor cell. The result is that Ziotax could potentially work better and be safer than many existing chemotherapy agents.